Day six, April 25th, Tuesday. That was tough. Don't know if we're gonna get to see much in the mountains today, but we're gonna give it a go. Now, it's time for me to hit the shower. Morning has broken, my windows are open. Wanna feel the wind blow through my hair. Which way do I follow? We've got a beautiful Carthago here. See there, <laughs> his water is overflowing. Totally forgotten about it. Sometimes I give up, just wanna be on my How not to fill up your water tank. We're heading to the Pyrenees. So we've got a bit of low cloud cover, which you can see over there, maybe. You can see most of the motorhome air is actually cleared out. So there's about seven left, not including ours. And we're kind of the stragglers as usual. So what we're gonna do before we go is we're going to just dump the wastewater tanks. We're not gonna take on any fresh water because we're gonna be going up and down a lot of hills in the Pyrenees and just try and keep the van as light as possible. We can get some more fresh water in, uh, in Pamplona. Uh, so we're just packing everything away. We're getting ready to go. So let's just get on with it and do our business. To get rid of your rubbish, you need to, or your refuse, if you look in your ticket, there's a code at the end, so you need to put it in here. That goes into a bin behind here. And your recyclables and stuff go in these green bins here. Next stop, Pamplona, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Sometimes I give up, just wanna be on my own. Mm -hmm. in Today's destination is the historic city of Pamplona, which necessitates crossing the Pyrenees, the mountain range that separates France and Spain. We chose to cross the Pyrenees by way of the D933, which winds through the mountains. It then changes to the N135 once you cross the border. From there, it takes you through Roncesvalles, a popular Camino stopping point, and on to Pamplona. The Pyrenees extend nearly 500 kilometers and reach a maximum altitude of 3,404 meters at Aneiro, the highest mountain in the Pyrenees. Coming up mostly in uh, second and third gear when I can handle it. Just giving it a little rest now we're at the peak that so we're gonna head down towards Roncesvalles. And a little break, chat to one another, wish each other well and uh, and continue on their on their journey. So it's kind of raining now at the moment, kind of a light and misty rain.
anything about Pamplona, it's probable you've heard of its famous running of the bulls during the San Fermin festival every July. This involves hundreds of people running in front of six bulls down the old town's narrow streets, ending at Pamplona's bullring. In Pamplona, Saint Fermin is sometimes said to have met his end by being dragged through the streets with angry bulls running after him, hence the tradition. The current bullring on Paseo de Hemingway was designed by Francisco Orcolo, following a Renaissance style, and opened on the 7th of July 1922. If you are of a literary persuasion, you will almost certainly know of the city's association with the writer Ernest Hemingway. In fact, Hemingway's writings are often attributed to Pamplona's fiestas becoming widely known. After his death, the city council awarded him the city's neckerchief of honour. Hemingway's sculpture was inaugurated on Hemingway's promenade near the bullring on the 6th of July 1968. Pamplona is full of delightful cafes, so time can always be made for some coffee, tea and pastry. There's much more to Pamplona than old, narrow streets and traditions. It is full of spirit and vibrant with wide open spaces where you can walk and shop or just watch the world go by. The El Cidar Stadium is the home of Asasuna, Pamplona's La Liga football team. In 2021, after its reconstruction, it was voted World Stadium of the Year. Before we headed back to base, there was one more errand to run. Remember when we made the ferry, just in time? Well, there was a good reason for that. Just before leaving the house, my camera's window mount, well, it decided to disappear somewhere and was nowhere to be found. Having searched high and low, I finally gave up on it and we raced to the ferry. So off we went in search of an electronic store. It's 950 meters. That's downhill. Media marked, we're saved. This might save us 800 meters. Will we give it a shot? We'll give it a shot. We'll see the place is another 800 meters. Okay, I think these will do.
you come back for day seven, when we have a peek inside Hemingway's favorite cafe, look around Pamplona's brilliantly located motorhome air, walk over a 14th century bridge and reach the city of Burgos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and come with us on our journey to Santiago de Compostela.